Hey folks, it's Dan from DisneyInfinityCodes.com, and I'm here inside the toy box of Disney Infinity 3.0, taking a look at all the awesome textures and sky domes that came with the Star Wars Disney Infinity starter pack. And this one is really cool. It is the Endor theme. Uh, so the, the Endor, the moon of Endor. So I don't know if it's the moon of Endor or if Endor is the name of the moon. It's it's not important. What's important is this is a really, really cool foresty kind of Star Wars and inspired texture and sky dome and i thought we would take a peek at it all and, and get a look so the the walls of the texture when you activate the uh the texture for this for the uh, toy box are these really awesome kind of woody they've got branches they've got um vines on them some moss so you can kind of essentially build a giant tree out of these out of the textures if you want or everything kind of blends nicely into the sky dome which i think is kind of cool and then the <clears throat> the, the the green floor is also really neat and if you the, the further you zoom out the the more interesting it looks it's this nice little pattern and texture <clears throat> it's all these like little geometric shapes all layered on top of each other which i think is kind of cool we run over here we can take a look at the racetrack piece and how it themes according to the Endor land and you get these kind of fun little planked walkway kind of looking Ewok uh, you know pathway kind of look thing which I think is kind of awesome and then of course you get all of your fantasy terrain pieces all the nine of them and so I thought we would uh, jump up here and start to take a look around and check out all the fantasy terrain pieces one through five and then the strips and corners so we'll come over here first to fantasy terrain piece number one and then look at all the stuff cool stuff it transforms into so here's fantasy terrain piece number one oops put away the weapon there and so this one here we've got some just some nice ferny bushes because every every good toy box just needs a few good ferny bushes right travel over here to fantasy terrain piece number two you get a little bit of height here with a young little sapling tree but then of course you get some some platforms you can jump onto and so i love when they take these texture pieces and and kind of turn them into some usable kind of platform It's always good for your toy boxes if you really want to add a little bit of depth and, and kind of some interesting details to, to use those kind of pieces to really enhance your toy box come over here and look at fantasy train piece number three and it of course is a gigantic tree like it always is without fail it's some kind of giant train piece and uh, i think it's pretty cool it's a nice gigantic uh endor tree not nearly as big as the ones in the background in the Sky Dome, but it's pretty close. It's pretty big, so gotta like that. Come over here and look at uh, Fantasy Terrain piece number four. And we've got some, some more little some bushes and shrubbery, but we've got the added fun of some Ewok kind of inspired glowing pieces and and bones and and vines so it's a nice little ewok tribe piece which i think is really cool love that they managed to work their ewoks into this this texture pack and then finally we look at fantasy terrain piece come up here and look at fantasy terrain piece number five it is a very very tall tree nice little detail work there with the, and then there's a nice little mini tree next to it. So there's all kinds of fun with the mossy rock at the bottom. Gotta like that. Gotta dig it. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at the Fantasy Train strips now. There's Fantasy Train strip one and two. And so here's Fantasy Train strip number one. And we've got this cool little fallen log, which I, I'm always a fan of, like I said earlier, the kind of terrains that you can use to uh, platform with and stuff. So. You can walk all the way up that log, which is kind of cool. Add some nice depth and texture to the to the environment using stuff like that. But it's a big that tree piece there is huge compared to all, all the other pieces so far. I mean, that's a really really tall piece. Look how far I have to zoom out just to get the whole thing in one shot. All right, let's look at strip number two. Uh, 
And we've got some Ewok traps going on here, which is really cool. I love the detail. I, I highly doubt that there's anything I can do to activate the traps. No, there's not. But, regardless, very, very cool. You got the, the couple of stones all tied up to some logs and some, some vines and some rope. To It's just screaming, you know, for the Empire to walk through it and getting completely nailed. And these trees, again, are really, really tall. You can add a lot of height to your toy box using this uh, texture pack. Let's go look at the Fantasy Terrain Corner number one. There we go. Nice little fun corner piece here. There is a little bit of smoldering wreckage of course of the speeder bike which is another nice little touch I like all the I like when you get a little hints here and there of of the wreckage and whatnot and the devastation that the that the environment can cause so there's a really cool I like that corner piece a lot and then we take a piece take a peek at fantasy terrain corner piece number two right down here and we've got some more Ewok trap kind of stuff going on it's all hooked up and and prepared ready for battle which is pretty rad I like that very very cool so there you go so let's take a peek at this sky dome now you've kind of got to look at it uh, from me flying around to all those different terrain pieces but we'll we'll do a nice little camera shot Oop. Unless the camera decides it does not want to work. Which it looks like it's working great. I have to figure out what that's all about in just a moment. A little bit of behind the scenes. Oh, I see what it is. It's that the camera is too. It's, it's right on top of the... Huh. Well, how do you like that? So that is definitely the problem. Well, what we can do is this. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. So the, the forest is really cool, and, and, and here in the background you get to see the, the base station that they have to take out, of course, in the final Star Wars movie to take down the shield of the Death Star. And so you've got this really cool base station, you know, hidden in the background of this texture that otherwise is nothing but forest. There's there's not a lot of, uh, you know, fancy stuff going on in, in pretty much 75% of the rest of the Sky Dome. It's mostly just forest and ferns and whatnot until you get to this point here where you've got this really cool kind of Star Wars hint. And again, like I've mentioned in the past, you, I'm sure with some creative, uh, you know, techniques with your toy box building, you could even ideally hide out that that base station there so that you just have a playable forest environment so dual purpose anyway folks thanks for watching of course visit us at disneyinfinitycodes.com for all your power disc texture sky dome needs you're fantastic thanks for watching and uh enjoy <laughs>